Have you been using Zoom for your video conferencing needs? Since the start of the pandemic, it's been hard to avoid. There are virtual backgrounds, hand raising capabilities, and plenty of other easy to use features. One of their most useful tools is the breakout room. This feature lets you split your meeting up into a maximum of 50 separate smaller rooms. This allows for more intimate discussions and group activities that aren't normally possible in large meetings. So here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to use breakout rooms in Zoom. I'm Raid here with JotForm. Let's jump right in. First, you'll have to enable breakout rooms in your Zoom account settings. Remember that this process might look slightly different for account administrators than for account users. First, sign into the Zoom web portal. Then in the navigation menu, click the account management, then account settings. If you are an account user, just click settings. Then go to the meeting tab and click on the toggle to enable the breakout room option. If that option has been grayed out, then the feature has been locked at a group or account level and you'll need to contact your organization's Zoom administrator. Administrators are able to make their settings mandatory for all account users by clicking the lock icon. Then, you can assign breakout rooms before the meeting even starts. This is especially useful if you already know how you want to organize the participants, as it can save you a lot of time. But there are some limitations. Zoom only allows you to pre-assign up to 200 participants, and each participant needs to have a Zoom account. There are two methods to pre-assign participants. You can do it manually through Zoom web portal or by importing a CSV file. When using the web portal, you can only pre-assign users within your same account. Otherwise, you would need to use a CSV file. For both of these methods, you'll have to navigate to the Meetings Options section when scheduling your meeting. Then select the breakout room pre-assigned. From here, you can either select Create Rooms, which will let you enter participants' email addresses in text boxes for each room, or you can import from CSV. This will provide a sample CSV file to fill in and upload. To edit the rooms before the meeting starts, you can go to the Meetings tab, select Breakout Room, then View Detail. If you can't pre-assign breakout rooms, then you can create breakout rooms during the meeting. You can do this by clicking the breakout rooms icon in the bottom right of the screen. You will then have options such as the number of rooms you'd like to create and whether you want Zoom to automatically divide participants or allow you to manually choose who goes in each room. It's easy for you to shift participants around by dragging and dropping their names into another room. You can also allow participants to return to the main meeting room at any time. Set a time limit for the breakout rooms and require participants to join their own breakout rooms. Now, you'll have to manage the breakout rooms during the meeting. After you create the rooms, select Open All Rooms. The participants will receive a notification telling them to join their breakout room. As the host, you will remain in the main Zoom meeting room, but you can choose to join different breakout rooms as needed. You can also see which participants have or haven't joined their breakout rooms. If you want to send messages to all participants in different rooms, click Breakout Rooms and then Broadcast. If you want to end the individual meetings and have all participants return to the main room, simply click Close All Rooms. Okay, let's review. In order to utilize breakout rooms in Zoom, you'll have to enable them in your Zoom account settings. You can even assign breakout rooms prior to the meeting, or you can create breakout rooms during the meeting. Then you'll have to manage the breakout rooms during the meeting. Now that you know how to utilize breakout rooms in Zoom, you can facilitate smaller and intimate conversations within larger video calls. Thank you for watching today. I'm Raid here with JotForm. Have a great day. Oh,